We're under a drought in most of the West contiguously. The climate is changing. Summers are getting longer, it's getting hotter, it's getting drier, we're getting less precipitation. So I think there's a growing awareness in all of the West that we have to use significantly less water. So agriculture has to figure out how to get as much per drop of water as they can. I started to try to understand evapotranspiration when we collectively started trying to figure out, can I put less water on my fields and still yield the same amount or more? I go online and I can pull up the evapotranspiration numbers. I compare the amount of water that I apply daily, weekly, probably monthly, compared to what OpenET says, and I can see if I'm over applying or under applying. So if I put on more water than evapotranspiration I already have in my bank, I can shut off for a couple days. That means we could use about 25% less water and still produce the same amount of crop, which means a lot if you're putting out several million gallons of water a day.